Uplift Beats. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Elsa. Welcome to my channel, Elsa Loves. Today, what you are going to see me do is um, put some hubcaps on my car, but I'm going to make it a little bit of a story Split time. So I'm going to tell you a story while I'm changing my hubcaps. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm in my car. I have zip ties. I have this little thing that you use in the event of an accident um, and it breaks your windows and cuts the seat belt. I'm using this for um, to cut the zip tie so that it's not sticking out super long. I'll show you why I'm using the zip tie in a moment. Okay, so this is my current car situation. Um, I have one hubcap on, one hubcap off. Sorry, everyone in their motorcycles has started to come out. So I'm gonna change that right now. So let's see, I've never recorded outside, so I gotta figure this angle out. I have a mask on because I am now outside. So let's see. How's this look? I have these zip ties and the little tool that I showed you. So this came, honestly, I got this. I got these like, uh, I wanna say like last year. They were cheap, they're like 15 bucks. So I hope they fit. And I hope all four are in here. So these are the kinds that I got, see that? I'll post a picture of it after if you can't see it. So I'm gonna tell a story time while I'm doing this. And I decided to talk about, I'm gonna tell the story about my first kiss. So let's see how that goes. So I used to um, live on a block with predominantly a lot of boys for some reason. There were a lot of boys on my block and we played um, so many sports. I'm, I was, am super tomboy. I loved, 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 the idea of playing sports all, all day. Ooh, these look nice. These look nice. I love the idea of playing sports all day. Let me pause them. Pausing them. Yeah. Oh, never no, 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 no. Kind of awkward talking outside so i don't know if this is a good story rims keep spinning okay so um i used to be on the block with a bunch of kids from the block we used to play sports all day it was so much fun and we i had this one friend we'll call her vaughn vaughn she um she and I were playing basketball. We're usually the only ones playing basketball on our street, or the only girls that were playing basketball on our street. And I remember going upstairs and I'm like, hey, I need a drink. Do you need, <gasps> you know what's crazy? This isn't even gonna fit. Wait a minute. Are these too small? My hands are gonna be dirty. The more I continue to vlog with y'all, the more the more you're gonna see my personality. You might like or dislike that, depending on who you are. Back to my story. So we went upstairs to my house to try and get some. What were we getting? I think we were getting water and like something else. I forgot what else we were getting. But we were getting water and something else. And I remember as we were sitting down, she she goes, she starts talking to me and whatever. We're just kicking it because, you know, we've been friends for a while. She then starts sitting closer to me as I'm, I'm trying. Oh, that's what it was. I My ball was flat. So I was actually trying to fill my ball up. So I had at this time, at this time I had bunk beds like huge bunk beds where like one of the beds 
or like this huge wooden thing. There was a desk on the side attached to the bunk bed. And then there was my bed that like came out this way. There were dressers. It was actually pretty nice. I'm gonna see if I find a picture of it. Um, upstairs, she clearly is like sitting closer to me. So I'm trying to get, I'm trying to like make myself comfortable because I wasn't really sure what was happening. And then she starts talking. She's like, yeah, what did you do over? I think it was like, it might have been a break or something that happened. So she starts chatting a little bit. Like, what did you do over blase blah? What did you, what'd you end up doing? What did your family do and whatnot? Figured it out. So we're talking or whatever. And then she takes a seat. Um, although in my room, there was only one chair for this desk. So I'm like, where is she about to think she's fitting? Like, I don't want to share my seat, you know? <laughs> so I was kind of confused by that. But so we're talking, we still keep talking. And then she goes, you know, I'm, and then spells out the word bisexual. And in my mind, I'm slow as heck. I'm like, what is she doing right now? Like, I'm trying to go play ball. What is she talking about? And <laughs> so she, she says it again. She goes, no, I'm, I'm, and then spells out bisexual again. And I go, and I was like, I think I literally said something along the lines of like, I need you to be more direct or like, what are you talking about? I don't even honestly think I knew that term. That's how like baby dyke mode this was. I remember what's happening. I'm doing something wrong. She go ahead, she go ahead and explains what she's talking about. And I'm like, okay, I can deal with this. I can deal, I, I get it. So she talks about it. And I'm just like super nervous because now I know. She told me what it was. She told me what she was feeling. And so now I know. Like, I need to either, because this was a real um, uh, femi girl, although she was like a femi girl that that um, I think would identify as more dominant. She talks to me, comes closer, and then she goes, yeah, so that's why I identify as. And I'm like, okay, cool, dope. Like, no big deal. You know, at that time, I didn't really know many people who were queer in any form. Um, but I knew that she was good looking and I knew that that something was about to happen. So she's leaning in closer, like really leaning in. And I'm nervous, like nervous. Oh my goodness. You would think like just nervous. And so as she continues talking and it kind of, it kind of is what it is at that moment right and so I'm like okay that's fine and she leans in closer she leans in and she's like I'm, which I actually appreciate honestly she taught me about consent at a, such a young age we were in like maybe middle school and she's like can I kiss you and I'm like she's serious she's like gay gay like in my mind I didn't know what she was but you know, to me, I'm like, yo, she's she's about it, about it, you know? I was super nervous. I didn't do anything at that time. I was, you know, still stuck in the, in the basketball court. I was a little tomboy, not thinking about anything. I sit down. She put her hand on my thigh, which y'all know. Someone put their hand on your thigh. You know what it is. Split and beats. <laughs> no, I, that, that doesn't mean anything. Let me stop chatting. Um, it could mean something like it could be something different for everybody. And so she put her hand on my thigh. And I'm like, all right, cool, bet, you know, I'm ready. I knew what was about to happen. And then she kissed me. And I'm like, okay, I could do this. I know this. And then she tells me. Well, she doesn't kiss me just right away, but she asked me for consent. And then she, she said, can I do that again? And I'm like, oh, like this is a thing thing. 
and I was super nervous, super, super nervous. And I'm like, sure, let's do it. And she literally sat down and we had like a little middle school making out session, which is so funny to think back on. Cause you know, when you're in middle school, you think you are it. I work as a middle school teacher now, so it's funny, but you think you are it, it. And so here I am like, ooh, I am like a Mac. I like, don't, you can't tell me nothing after this. I went out on that court like, <laughs> oh my God. And so I, as she keeps talking, I mean, as we keep, you know, kissing and whatnot, um, she's like, don't tell anyone. I'm like, oh, I got you. Man, when I tell you I never walk down the stairs with my chest up so high, dribbling the ball like I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> so funny um and we really never became anything um but there's always always so much love there for her uh but we like later down the line we, we ran into each other again you know um but it was just super funny because it, it, it's just so funny how things happen she was gonna teach me a thing or two i think i'm quiet but I'm also, like, I had a crowd around me usually because I played sports. Yo, what is, all right, I have to read the directions because these are the same size and this is ridiculous at this point. Not fitting directions. Chris is going to be like, did you read the directions? Like, yes, I read the directions. Oh, see, that's what it is. I got to clamp those two things. <laughs> Listen, I'm not showing Chris in this video, but she's going to come for me. Tengo un kilo de azúcar para mi complete. I think I figured it out, y'all. I think I figured it out. Figured it out. Yes! I ever feel, oh yeah, so I'm putting the zip ties on because where I live, we have these things called potholes. And listen, they can take something out. They'll take, they'll take your, your whole tire off. So I was reading that if you put a zip tie, which I don't think the zip tie is gonna fit though. If you put a zip tie on your tire, I mean on your, oh, I got an idea. On your hubcaps, they won't fall off. Cause obviously these aren't real, you know, my rims aren't, they keep spinning. I'm a mechanic. <laughs> Bejeebers. All right. So we got one down. We're going to get the other one down. Um, honestly, I might fast forward this for you because... These are the old ones. I do want to also do a project where I sp spray paint the hubcaps, but I don't think I'm there yet. Okay, that was much easier. See, kids, don't give up. <laughs> don't stop what you're doing because it's frustrating like that real life is a life lesson if i can teach you anything that dust flying up you gotta do this side quick. I do not need this. We 
This is the after. That was so much fun. I'm like looking at my face in the camera. I can see that I have like grease everywhere on my hands. I'm a hard working woman. <laughs> um, but no, please like, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. I'm going to create playlists today just because I do know I do different things. And I am coming out with a second channel with a second idea. So stay tuned to that. I think that's going to be... If anything is 2021 goals, it's going to be that channel. That channel is going to be lit. Um, so please stay tuned. Follow me closely. Comment. Do you like working on cars?